Some people really don't like spoilers. And if that's you and you're reading Stephen King, this special is going to be right up your alley. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave Masson, at Dave Masson on Instagram, and this is the place where I talk to you about all things Stephen King. Now, normally I am going through the movies and adaptations of Stephen King's work, but once a month we do a book special, and this episode is this month's book special, and we are talking about how to avoid spoilers when it comes to reading Stephen King. So this is a special that was requested by both Jacob Gregorowski 98 and Neo Chapel 1158. So thank you to both of you for suggesting this. And I'm gonna go through how you can dodge major spoilers in the world of Stephen King in a spoiler free fashion. So hopefully it'll be useful for you and help you plan your reading. Now, as you'll have just heard, this special was suggested by someone like you out there. And if you've got ideas for future specials, drop them in the comments. I would love to hear from you. And very recently, you may have noticed that I've launched memberships for this channel. So for $1.99 a month, you can become a constant viewer and get members only videos. So extra specials like this, just for members, you get early access to videos, all of those kind of things. So if you feel like it, then go ahead and check that out. I would very much appreciate you becoming a constant viewer. Now, back to this special. Of course, the easiest way to avoid spoilers is just to read Stephen King's works in chronological order. And I do have a special taking you through that if you need it. But I thought this was still a fun idea for a special. So I'm going to try and group together key themes, characters, locations, and guide you through safely. Of course, in a spoiler-free fashion. So let's get into it. Let's dodge those spoilers in the world of Stephen King. Right, let's start with the Dark Tower series. That's the one where the biggest spoiler potential is, I guess. I'm not actually going to say too much about that here because I have a video going through my suggested reading order for the Dark Tower. Still my best performing video in four years of doing this channel. And that one, I think, really lays out a safe route through the tower, but the one that pulls in all the expanded universe books and gives you the richest experience without spoiling anything. If you just want to know how to safely go through the core Dark Tower books, then it's, you could read them in publication order, or you could go The Gunslinger, Drawing of the Three, Wastelands, Wizard and Glass, which is publication order up to that point, and then win through the keyhole, because that one's set in between book four and book five, and then pick up Walls of the Caller, Song of Susanna, and the Dark Tower. Now, something, if you are looking to dodge spoilers, something I will recommend is for you not to watch my 19 Reasons to Read the Gunslinger before you've read that, because I did that back before I was really thinking straight. I didn't put the spoilers after a spoiler alert. Basically, I dropped a spoiler in there and upset quite a few people. So... Yeah, maybe don't watch that video. Just watch my guide to the tower instead. So let's talk about the Castle Rock story. So this is another one that I've already done a video for. The Castle Rock stuff, the reading order is not quite so crucial. But one tip I would give you is to read The Dead Zone before Cujo. So Cujo was my first Stephen King book. And there's a bunch of stuff in there that made no sense at all until I'd read The Dead Zone. And it does kind of spoil some stuff for the dead zone as well so do the dead zone first and then Cujo. in terms of the castle rock stuff your best bet is basically the dead zone Cujo, the dark half the sun dog which is a novella in four past midnight and then needful things which was supposedly the final castle rock book but wasn't after that you've got some short stories like it grows on you premium harmony and a few others that mention castle rock lisey's story mentions castle rock as well and then we go back there properly for the, for the gwendy's trilogy and the Elevation. I would also suggest reading The Body, another novella, before you read Needful Things, because there's a character who appears in both, and their appearance in the second one is somewhat surprising. And if you like The Body, go read the short story Nona as well, because that one sort of wraps up what happened to a couple of the characters from The Body as well. And you'll find Nona in Skeleton Crew. And I'm jumping around a little bit here, but I just mentioned The Dark Half, in the Castle Rock books. Make sure you read that before you read Insomnia and Bag of Bones because those two have some small details that pertain to stuff that happens in the dark half. So again, we're trying to 
help you out as much as possible here. It's kind of a small detail and actually maybe I'll come back and do more small details towards the end of this special. But while it's in my head, while we're talking Dark Half, do that before Insomnia and do that before Bag of Bones. Okay. Okay, actually Insomnia, Bag of Bones, that's a good point to go into the Derry books, another location that King likes to come back. Now your core text for Derry is it. Read that one first and basically you'll be fine for everything else. Now, there are some small details in the middle of the Tommyknockers that might spoil the end of it. So again, read it first. Or, or maybe just don't read the Tommyknockers at all, because it's not very good. Ha <laughs> ha. And then after that, the Derry books are Insomnia, Bag of Bones, and Dreamcatcher. And again, if you read it first, you will be absolutely fine. And the reason I'm picking these out, again, they are small details, but if you don't read it first then you kind of deny yourself that moment of being able to recreate the Leo DiCaprio meme where you're pointing and going, I know what that is, I know what that is. It's worth noting as well, Derry gets mentioned in a bunch of other books, including The Running Man, but those are real sort of passing glances almost. Read it first, then read the ones afterwards. You'll be absolutely fine. And hey, maybe I should do a special on the Derry books. Would you like that? Let me know. Oh, before we leave Derry... 112263 spends a significant amount of time in Derry. And we meet some characters from it as well. So again, do it first and you'll get so much more of a rich experience reading that particular scene in 1122. 1122 doesn't necessarily spoil anything for it, but like I say, it's it's such a joy having read it first to then come to that scene. Okay, let's talk Holly Gibney slash Bill Hodges slash Mr. Mercedes. So Holly Gibney is King's most recent recurring character and she is not going away anytime soon so it's worth looking at how best you navigate these books. Now it really is up to you how you read the ones that she's in. If you want it in a purely spoiler free fashion just do it in the order of publication. So we've got the original trilogy Mr. Mercedes, Finders, Keepers, End of Watch. That's where we first are introduced to Holly and we see more of her. We also get the Bill Hodges, Mr. Mercedes story. So do that one first, because the later books all make at least a reference to the major events in those books. So if you're looking for a purely spoiler-free experience, you need to do the trilogy first. Now, next up we have The Outsider and If It Bleeds, which are both linked to each other. I would read those two in that order. And again, they do make reference to the books in the trilogy. So if you're looking to be completely spoiler free do the trilogy first then do the outsider and if it bleeds and then we have holly as the standalone novel which does work as a standalone novel and if you do want to just read holly as a standalone it totally works it does make reference to the key events of the others but kind of up to you how spoiler free you want it and of course we've got never flinch coming in 2025 another holly book so you probably want to read holly before you read that one although if it's written in the same style as the other ones never flinch will work as a standalone but we'll mention the other stuff you get the point okay publication order is probably the best way to go now in terms of how many of the holly books you read that's totally up to you i would say the trilogy works on there as a three finders keepers maybe works on its own but the trilogy is there the outsider and if it bleeds are linked and holly you can do on your own it's totally up to you okay but the best bet is publication order. So when it comes to sequels, Stephen King is not an author who does that many sequels, which is good for dodging spoilers, because generally you can just pick anything from his bibliography, read it, and have a great time. He does have a couple of sequels, though, so let's talk about those. Doctor Sleep from 2013 is a sequel to The Shining from 1977, so read The Shining first. Then we have Salem's Lot. So Salem's Lot is there as a novel, and there are two short stories connected to Salem's Lot. We have one for The Road, which is set after the events of Salem's Lot. And we have Jerusalem's Lot, which is set a long time, a hundred years in fact, before the events of Salem's Lot. Now, I would actually suggest just reading the novel first and then doing the short stories afterwards. Despite the fact that Jerusalem's Lot is set before, it's not a prequel to Salem's Lot. It just happens to be set in the same town. And you get so much more from those short stories having read the novel than if you try and read them in chronological order of the timeline. And you know, the easiest way to do this is just pick up the illustrated edition of Salem's Lot because it has the two short stories. They're both in Night Shift, by the way. It has them at the end of the book, so you can do it all in one go. Lastly, on sequels, 
The short story Rattlesnakes from this year, from 2024's You Like It Darker, is a sequel to Cujo. So definitely read Cujo before you tackle Rattlesnakes, because otherwise Rattlesnakes will not make that much sense at all. And interestingly, in Rattlesnakes, there was a mention of Duma Key. Now, it doesn't spoil anything from Duma Key, but it got my hopes up that we might get a sequel for Duma Key someday as well, whether it's a short story or a full book. I'm in for it. But it's worth talking about paired books when it comes to Stephen King, because he does have some books that are deliberately paired with each other. Now, with these books, it doesn't matter what order you read them in, you won't spoil anything, but just be aware that they are linked either by events or characters. So first off, we have Gerald's Game and Dolores Claiborne. These are linked by an eclipse. You can read them in any order. I would maybe suggest Gerald's Game first, but honestly, it does not matter at all. They're both very different stories from each other as well, so it's not even like they're linked thematically. And then the other paired books are Desperation and The Regulators. So Desperation went out under Stephen King, The Regulators went out under Richard Bachman. Now, the way these are linked are basically the same character names, but the characters are all mixed up. There's like a couple of similar themes. It's kind of like they're a remix of each other. And I would definitely suggest doing Desperation first and then The Regulators. That's the order in which they were written. And for me, that makes The Regulators much more impactful as a remix of Desperation. And I don't think it works so well the other way around. Like I said, it doesn't spoil anything, but that would be my preferred reading order for those two. So I said I'd come back to some small details, so let's wrap up by doing that. I'm sure I've missed a bunch, so do let me know any others I've missed. Let me know spoiler free, of course, in the comments, but some that came to mind to wrap up this special. The Overlook Hotel from The Shining gets a mention in Misery, and it gets a little bit more than a mention in Billy Summers. So you want to do The Shining first. There's something pretty major from it, pops up in later that will make no sense in later if you haven't read it. It doesn't spoil it, but honestly, it will be confusing if you haven't read it before late. Something from Christine turns up in both it and the revised version of The Stand, so maybe read Christine before those two. There's a journalist we meet in The Dead Zone who pops up again in The Tommyknockers and in The Night Flyer. I always thought that was a train going past there, but it's not. But hey, members, you can now leave a train emoji whenever a train does go past. Yeah, exciting, right? Train! And finally, on these small details, the setting for the breathing method, so the location where the story is told, is the same as in The Man Who Would Not Shake Hands. I would definitely say read the breathing method first. You get a much better idea of the club in which the setting is, and it makes it more of a treat when you get to the man who would not shake hands, that you're going back to that venue. Like I said, if there's any I've missed, let me know. Just keep it spoiler free. Okay, there we go. My ramshackle guide to dodging spoilers in the world of Stephen King. I hope you found that useful. If there's any others I missed, drop them down below in the comments, but keep them spoiler free, of course. And thank you to the two of you for suggesting this special. It was a fun one to put together. Now, if you've got ideas for future specials, drop them in the comments and of course if you want to become a member of this channel become a constant viewer you get access to even more specials members only specials at least two a month and i want the majority of those to be suggested by you as well so if this is something you're interested in definitely consider signing up other things you can check out my range of stephen king themed band shirts like my children of the core one my own collection of short stories once more around the sun you can sign up to my newsletter all of those other things blah 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 thank you for watching come back soon because we're going to be back on the trail of the movies and adaptations. <laughs> <laughs>